Do you identify as black? <laughs> no, it's a serious question because you might not identify. Can you please put the mic? Thank you. Okay. Uh, when I Less walked into, when I walked into the question. room, I am I not dog with my question. Oh, 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 young lady. Young lady. I, I'm just asking you to listen to me. And, and, I, and I'm about question. to answer okay. the first question. But I didn't, I didn't finish my question. Okay. Yeah, I'm black. <laughs> These people and their stupid ass identities. Hello everyone, if you're a new viewer, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your second, third, fourth time watching one of my videos and you are not yet subscribed, we already go together. Okay, make it official and hit that subscribe button. Today I am going to be reacting to some woke TikTok cringe. I apologize in advance. You're probably going to lose hope in humanity after watching this video. Our job tonight actually is to scare people to death on this subject. I'm sorry, but you need to know that these people exist, okay? So without further ado, let's begin. What are your pronouns? Uh, my pronouns are they, them. I've actually got them tattooed on my neck. Why? Show the world. Mm -hmm. Be visual, be queer, activism. <laughs> what are your pronouns? She, her. <laughs> I don't have any. You don't have any? What's a pronoun? <laughs> she, I'm her. a girl. Why? Because I have boobs. What are your pronouns? Uh, my pronouns are they, them. Why? I just don't identify with anyone specific gender. I feel like it's more complicated than just a straight binary. What is binary. that outfit? You know, when I was in high school, all of these kids were just considered emo or punk rock or goth, but they were never into gender identities. You know, non-binary, all these neo pronouns about cat self and zimzer and all this bullshit. It wasn't a thing. I understand that these these young people, they want to go against societal norms and they want to stick it to the man and they want to be anarchists, but when you tattoo your pronouns on your neck what do you what do you think is gonna happen with your life <laughs> we already know that employers are less likely to hire you if you have they them written on your resume this man decided to, sorry they decided to take it a step further and tattoo their pronouns on their neck and i bet you in a couple of years he's gonna go viral because he's not able to get a job because the stupid ass tattoo on his neck. The same way the other girl went viral because nobody would hire her. I feel like discrimination has gotten out of hand. I was discriminated against twice tonight in less than two hours. Let me explain while I take off the makeup that I covered myself in to appease the public eye um, to get hired at jobs that I really don't even want. Um, it's just something for me to get out of the house, you know? Just work for the circus. When you look like you drink blood on your brakes, sometimes people might not be comfortable with you around. Imagine if every time you left your house, you had everything about you tattooed all over your skin for everyone to see. Everyone could read who you are, where you live, what your interests are every time you enter the world. If you surf the internet without Pia, that's exactly what you're doing. Using the internet without Pia is like, it's like living in a house with no curtains. Everyone can see what you're up to, especially in the dark. Pia, which is short for Private Internet Access, is an affordable VPN service that is offering my audience 83% off and four extra months for free. A VPN is a virtual private network which hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. This way, it shields your digital life from the eyes of those that are looking to exploit your private information. And did you know that some content is restricted based on your location, including YouTube videos and Netflix content. Take for example Rick and Morty. This is one of the most popular shows that's not available on Netflix in Canada or the US. But with Pia, you can simply change your IP address to the UK and have access to this show and more. And for my Canadian viewers who now have reduced access to foreign news online, Pia is a great way to stay connected to what's going on in the world. With one subscription to Pia, you can protect an unlimited amount of devices at no additional cost. Click my link in the description box down below to get 83% off on private internet access. That works out to just $2.03 a month, plus you get four extra months completely free. Thank you to Pia for sponsoring this video. 
Hey Guild, I thought you guys might get a kick out of this one. Stanford recently released a new list of offensive words. As you know, the list of offensive words grows bigger and bigger every single day. Pretty soon we're only going to be able to communicate through grunts and snorts in order to avoid offending anybody. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be reading you some of my favorite ones. So here we, here we go. Walk-in is now considered offensive because it trivializes people that they can't walk. I guess the more politically correct term now is to drop in. Man hours. It's drop. now considered offensive because it reinforces male-dominated language. I guess the more politically correct term now is person hours. Sure, white paper is now considered offensive because in their own words, white is... Wow. And now the more politically correct term is position paper. I don't get it. Brave is now considered offensive because it promotes the uh, savage stereotype. I genuinely don't understand that one. If somebody could explain that to me in the comments, that would be very helpful. These people at Stanford need to get a life. Let me see the list of words that they have deemed offensive because he's only he's only listed a couple of words here's a list so we have addict okay the word addict is offensive so instead of using the word addict person with a substance use disorder that's that's too many words i'm not doing that blind review instead you should use anonymous review uh, unintentionally perpetuates that disability is somehow abnormal or negative furthering an ableist culture how are you getting all of that from the term blind review <laughs> reaching you'll get there crazy crazy is offensive instead consider using surprising or wild no no not at all sometimes crazy is the only word that you can use to describe someone or something let's see what else is on the list pocahontas there's people using pocahontas as an adjective and i just want to thank you because you're very very special people you were here long before any of us were here Although we have a representative in Congress who they say was here a long time ago. They call her Pocahontas. Bruh. But you know what? I like you. You know what? Never mind. That that one belongs on the list. That I'm gonna have a fucking party. I'm like gonna have like cupcakes with like aborted fetuses drawn on them, lots of snacks, lots I'm gonna come up with some sort of cocktail and call it the aborted fetus and me and all of my friends are just gonna hang out eat a bunch of yummy dead fetus themed food get drunk and have a great old time you see what i mean calling her surprising calling her wild insufficient she is batshit crazy this lady made a whole ass tiktok video telling the world that not only is she having an abortion but she is going to celebrate it by having an abortion themed party and she's going to have friends over to eat abortion themed cupcakes drink abortion themed drinks crazy she's crazy anyone who impregnates this woman especially after seeing this video not only do they have low standards for themselves and for their life but they should also be considered an accomplice to murder. Right to jail, right away. I hope that unborn baby that she is bragging about aborting haunts her ass for the rest of her life. To your face, Ty. Makeup. You put makeup on her? Mm-hmm. How old are you? Seven. No, how old are you? Seven. You're four. No, seven. Are you a boy or a girl? A girl. A girl? Mm-hmm. Were you born a girl? Hmm? Were you born a girl? Yes. When you were a baby, were you a girl? Yes. Are you in a boy's body though? Yes. Yeah. So when the when the boy says that he is seven years old, she says no. He says, I'm I'm seven, and she says, No, you're you're not seven, you're four. So she corrects him when he's making up information about his age, but she doesn't correct him when he's making up information about his gender. I, I think it's easy to guess who put him in that pink outfit and who gave him access to the makeup. That doesn't look like a boy who's trying to be a girl. This looks like a parent who is trying to have a trans child. Straight to jail. Right to jail, right away. I've known I'm trans for about three years and I've come to understand that my gender is like one of those soups that have been cooking for like a hundred years. 
It's always the same soup. It's made up of multiple components that interact with each other. And then every now and then someone will add a new ingredient and the whole thing changes. I noticed a fluctuation this week when I was playing a game and I realized that I was panicking. What happened was, new game, asks for my name, asks for my pronouns, and I've been using he, they pronouns for about a year now. And they've been comfy, they've been great. And suddenly there's this pixel robot and it says to me, are you sure that your pronouns are he and they? And I'm looking at it and I'm panicking. And something twigs in the back of my mind, oh, I'm panicking about the pronouns. Suddenly he and they are not the right pronouns anymore. Something has changed and this is how I'm finding out. So then what? So then you change, you try something new. It's that easy and it's that hard. In this case, the game had a bunch of new pronoun sets as well. So I picked one, just Zer, just at random. Um, I'm referred to in the game and yeah, it feels okay. So later in the day, I mentioned this to my wife and she says, oh, so my partner's experimenting with Zer's pronouns. All right, all right, I've heard enough. We don't need to watch the rest of the video. It, it, <laughs> I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste your time. There's more, there's actually more, but I'm not playing it because it's bullshit. Um, so this person, they've decided to change their pronouns because when they were setting up their profile in a video game, the pronouns they them no longer felt appropriate. <laughs> so does that mean that, that they were misgendering themselves? Or, sorry, that they were misgendering, or z they, they were misgendering themselves. <laughs> I cannot. Like, honestly, people like this expect the general public to know their pronouns, but you don't even know your pronouns. Next, next video. Next, next video. Bye, Felicia, to this person. Trans people get a lot of abuse online, and recently, someone online said to me, they said, uh, you'll never be a real woman. Do you know why? Because you can't have a baby. You can't get pregnant. Yes, I can. I think I can. <coughs> I have a lot of willpower. I have a lot of resolve. I have a lot of confidence. I think I can do anything I put my mind to. And right now, I'm putting my mind to having a baby. I don't even want one. I'm just doing it don't out do of spite. And when I have it, inexplicably, somehow, by the grace of God, <laughs> I'm gonna breastfeed it. The stork's gonna but deliver not it? my breast. With the breast of a dog. I'll just leave it in the park and let dogs look after it. I'm gonna name it Clementine, whether it's a girl or a boy, and I'm gonna tell it that it can be anything it wants, even a traffic warden. In fact, I'm going to actively encourage it to become a traffic warden. A dog milk drinking traffic warden that lives in the park called Clementine that was birthed from the strange womb of a trans woman and squeezed out of my butthole. Because by the grace of God, Lord <laughs> Jesus Christ, anything is possible. I don't, I don't know if that was meant to be a joke, but if it's not, I, I'm concerned. This person believes He's the Virgin Mary and is ordained to deliver a, ba a baby from his asshole. <laughs> if it were somehow possible to get that far, the delivery would most certainly end in everyone dying. I, I don't think I don't think the bumhole has the capacity to dilate that. You know what? Never mind. Next video. Like you to promise me that you will stop treating trans people this way. How I'm treating you? I'm treating you bad? And I, am I doing Your it? Your staff. Am I doing it? Your staff. They're not doing that, man. Yes, they were. Okay, well, no. I mean, uh, like I said, I mean, did you name it the credit card? It's a feminine name? No. Exactly. They're not discriminating. Yes, no, they not. are. No, because it, someone else could be paying by you handing the card. I'm sorry, if someone else was sitting here that was a man and I handed them that card, they would not have said anything. But because I'm alone, 
they're going to be an asshole and discriminate against me and be transphobic. See, nobody's transphobic like you're saying. No, Nobody that me. is what's happening. No, that's how you feel. I'm so no, sorry. No, 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 it's actually like not how I feel. Yes, you are there's because a you're difference. doing this because of that. No, there's a difference. You know, because I mean, it, it, like my sexuality, whatever it is, and I feel confident of who I am. I'm not what talking I am. about sexuality. That's what you just telling you me. You don't right even now. know what we're talking about. So how can you tell me I don't know what I'm talking about? We're talking about gender identity. You're talking about sexuality. Okay. There's a difference. What are you? So I can call you. What are you? No. What are you? Just why you does it you? matter? No, no. What are you? Why oh, does it matter? Hold on, hold on. How could you say why does it matter when this whole argument is about the fact that it matters to you? They called you sir. And that offended you. So that's the whole basis of this conversation. So it does matter. No, what are you? Because Why you does do it matter? Oh, it doesn't matter to you. I'm so. I mean, but to me, I'm a male. Okay. Okay. So, what are you? So I can call you a sir or ma'am. What are you? What would you assume looking at? Me? I feel like I feel like I'm watching a horror movie, and I'm watching. <laughs> I'm watching, I'm watching the person like walk into the other room and I know the serial killers in there I know that, that they're gonna regret going into that room and I'm like yelling at the TV like don't do it don't do it and he's doing it oh my god I hope this is staged or ma'am what are you what would you assume looking at me what don't answer you? the question what would set you up. assume looking at me I assume that you're a man <laughs> okay you know, you know the part at the end where you actually see the person behind the camera? It kind of reminds me of a situation that happened to me once when I went on vacation. So I was on vacation in Mexico when I was on a resort with my mother and my brother. And the resort was very big, so they have these carts that drive you around. So the staff will pick you up and drop you off to your room, to the lobby, to the restaurant, to the beach, wherever. And... We were pulling up to the lobby area and there's a group of people walking up the stairs and one of the people in the group they were fairly tall and they were wearing you know they had long hair it kind of looked like a wig from behind and they were wearing a black dress and i said to my mom i said that woman looks like a man <laughs> i don't know i was just i was just thinking out loud you know that they, 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 they were shaped very masculinely and the person that was walking with their group of friends up the stairs, um, the person, like someone behind them had said something. So they turned to go and talk to their friend and then I saw their face and I was like, it was a man. <laughs> I, wasn't even, I wasn't even trying to be rude, but the person was shaped like Johnny Bravo in a dress. <laughs> Okay, I know. So people are going to get bad at that story. I don't care. I wasn't trying to be rude. I was stating a basic observation. Look, if you're like six foot three and your shoulders are like eight meters wide and your hip is like two meters wide, like from behind, people are going to think you're a man. Okay, that's why Wendy Williams was accused of being a man for so long because Wendy Williams has very masculine proportions, okay? And in defense of the staff, at this restaurant, if they had the credit card and the credit card said, sir, is that really misgendering? At the very least, extend some grace to the fact that they called you sir because it said sir on your credit card. If, if it upsets you that much, change your credit card. But why are you going to go make a whole TikTok video and go expose the manager of this restaurant for? People are just, people are so extra. Welcome back to What's That Sexuality? Today's sexuality is Trixic. Now, Trixic is uh, actually quite complex, especially since it's a new, new term. The basic definition is a non-binary person, no matter their orientation, who is attracted to women. But it's not, an, it's not always an exclusive attraction. The opposite of Trixic is Toric, which is the same thing except attraction to men. Now, someone who is Trixic can also identify as a non-binary lesbian or a feminine moric though feminomoric is an exclusive attraction to females, the opposite of which is viramoric. The reason trixic or toric is so new is because the term non-binary is so new. That's it's also the reason why it's not very well known. Trixic flag contains the colors yellow, pink, 
magenta, and purple. The toric flag contains the colors purple, lighter purple, blue, green, and dark green. I hope you guys learned something and have a wonderful day. I learned nothing. You're not- Tricks it. Stop pretending to be one. Tricks it? Like, why does that sound like a Pokemon? TikTok is rotting the brains of the next generation. All of these pre-teens, teens, and young adults are more focused on learning made-up genders and sexualities than learning real-life skills and information. Like, I'm actually, I'm actually scared for the future. I, I am. Is, don't you hate it when your balls are sticking out of your panties just a little bit? And it doesn't hurt that bad right now, but you know if you just keep going the way it is, it's going to start chafing and just hurting worse. Ugh. Why did God do this to women? <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> he didn't, though. He didn't do that to women. He did that to men. Boys have a penis. Girls have a vagina. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. If you laughed... If you cried because you realized that society is doomed, I'm sorry, but please hit the like button. <laughs> and before I end this video, I would like to give a special thanks to Pia for sponsoring this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.